The developers of Rise of Kingdoms have finally broke their silence about the graphical update that they announced last year for the anniversary event. This information was posted, I believe, exclusively to the Chinese players of Rise of Kingdoms. So today we're going to do our best to translate all of this and get into some new screenshots of the graphical update for Rise of Kingdoms, as well as a short video clip later. So make sure you stay tuned. But first, what's going on, guys? Cheers. If you guys appreciate breaking news for Rise of Kingdoms, make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video. It helps out the channel a ton. And also consider subscribing to the channel because 68% of you guys are not subscribed, even though you think you are. Anyway, like all of the official news that we get from the Chinese versions of the game, this was first reported on by Ihara. I'm going to link their video down in the description below. We might take a look at a clip from their video in just a second, but here we could see this screenshot was shared and I did a quick little Google translate here. It says the largest update plan in the history of Awakening of Kingdoms. Now, Google Translate's not perfect, so please bear with me throughout this video. I'll try to tell you what I think it's supposed to be saying instead of what it's actually saying this is obviously rise of kingdoms okay the remake plan is revealed for the first time well i wouldn't say the first time but i guess it's the first time they're talking about it since the reveal okay and the remake plan is the, the graphical update that they revealed last year they say hello archons that is governors i wish the governors a happy dragon boat festival as you guys know that event just started in game i think two days ago but they go on to say as we all know whenever there's hot news Ajing will appear. What we bring today is definitely the biggest hot news in the history of Rise of Kingdoms. Come and watch. Okay, that is actually exciting. This is what they followed up with, and I translated to say remake plan first revealed. In fact, as early as last year's anniversary future plans revelations, we mentioned our plan to comprehensively upgrade the art. However, there's been no movement for a long time since then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, boys. I feel like the they just kind of went radio silent after that. We were supposed to be getting these updates like over the past few months. We haven't gotten anything. Let's see what they say. During this period, we have also been receiving inquiries from players one after another. When will it be released? Why is there no sound about the art upgrade mentioned last year? But in fact, more of them are heard by us. Everyone's complaints are worrying. And I think that's one of the problems when you reveal such a massive update and you reveal it super early then you know if there is any delay in releasing that update you're gonna have a lot of people bothering you right so this probably was a lesson that rise of kingdoms has learned the hard way don't reveal anything until it is ready to go uh but you know people people are excited they just they want the new graphical update so everyone's been bothering them about that what does the screenshot say it says can we first optimize the problem of lag in large groups in the field this is hard to read but it says ah Jing, i suggest you don't beautify it like this it's better to improve the smoothness of team battles a good game experience is more important than anything else it's a pity that I didn't hear about the new strategic gameplay that I wanted most now I did watch Ihara's video and they do have English captions so again if you want to check out what they say go ahead and watch the link down below basically what they were talking about here is that the developers fully understand that a lot of players were worried about the graphical update causing more lag right this is something that I saw a lot of people commenting on on my video when I first covered the graphical update to rise of kingdoms a lot of people Said, wow that looks beautiful but r.i.p to my phone because my phone is already hot when i'm in kvk and this is probably going to make it even worse i think a lot of people have a misunderstanding of lag a majority of lag comes from the server not your phone unless your phone is really old which you know that is possibly the case for many of you but nonetheless most of the lag comes from the server and your connection to the server not it has nothing to do with the graphics to be honest with you guys but I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole okay I'm just going to be honest with you guys that's the truth okay but anyway they're basically saying like hey we realize that it's more important to have a better gameplay experience than to have the game look better which I can appreciate but I do wish that they maybe wouldn't have even said anything about the graphical update back in October, September, whenever that was, because we've just kind of been holding our breath since then. But anyway, it seems like what they've been doing is working on making the graphical update a good and better experience and optimizing the lag problem first before proceeding with the graphical update that's actually probably the best way to do it I know that we've been waiting a long time for the graphical update but if they dropped this update and it completely broke the game in terms of lag then people wouldn't be they wouldn't want the update right they would just complain about the game being too hard and too slow and too laggy to play 
and that would be i mean that defeats the purpose of the update right the update is supposed to make the game experience better by making it more visually appealing and by pulling it into the 21st century and making the graphics you know something that is on par with like call of dragons for example so while we have had to wait a long time for more information about the graphical update it's nice to know that they've been working on the lag first and then they'll do the graphical update after anyway let's go on and see what they have to say here actually we didn't give up on this matter what they're saying is they didn't give up on the graphical update we just wanted to hold back a big wave solve the issues that everyone is most concerned about one by one so again this is what i just said here you know a lot of people were commenting saying like hey can you talk can you fix lag first before you do the graphical update and they're like okay yeah we we see you that's what we're going to go ahead and do so it seems like that's what they did so here we have three bullet points of what's coming first of all art upgrade yes and it's coming soon that's big this says it's coming soon so to me that means probably by the end of the year guys like uh, to be fair when they announced it originally it was supposed to be here by now so I think it's coming by the end of the year that's my best guess here but they just say it's coming soon so we have no official date it could come after that I have no idea but here they say it's coming soon they also the second bullet point is performance optimization yes thousands of people can fight in teams and enjoy the silky smoothness we will definitely arrange it for everyone so what they're saying is we're doing an art upgrade and we also did a performance optimization on the game does that mean less lag moving forward that would be huge if we got better graphics and less lag that's crazy but the third bullet point is also big this says gameplay update yes new scripts new activities new gameplay everything is available so what they're saying here is I don't really know what they mean by scripts but I think what they're saying is that there's going to be new types of events right like the script that we're going through is every holiday seems like kind of a re-release of the same event right there's the 7k gems event which we have right now there's you know Esmeralda's prayer events like these events are very very similar over and over and over again um so what I think what they're trying to say is that there's going to be new events coming like new types of events actually coming so that's good news new gameplay is exciting I wonder what that is all about they don't really go into any detail here so everything here is exciting this is three huge bullet points art upgrade silky smooth lag performance and new events this is honestly a big claim I mean this is a big claim one of these would be a big update for the game but all three of them is a massive claim so I really hope that they can deliver with this I know Lilith is extremely talented and they've been delivering a great game for you know almost six years now so I know that they can do it but this will be their biggest project yet so I'm wishing them the best of luck here they say let's cut the nonsense and let's take a look at the remake plan first and then they go into a cutscene, and we'll take a look at this from Iharo's vid video in just a second here but this says rise of kingdoms remake plan then they go on to say completely remastered art big map commander interface and battle of Egypt so this is actually three different bullet points it's hard to tell when it's in English because it's all one string but it's three bullet points okay so what they're saying is they're remastering the world map the commander interface and Ark of Osiris that's huge guys that's that's a big deal I didn't think that we would be getting a commander interface upgrade when they first announced the new art upgrade because the commander interface is it's 2d right and that's fine and I think it looks pretty good as it is like I don't really have any issues with how the commander interface looks today so it's good to know that even that even something that already looks pretty good is getting a rework are we going to be getting 3d models for the commanders now I'm not I don't want hey, I don't want to get too excited that that might be happening that might not be I don't know but like what else could they do to improve it I don't know but that's really exciting uh, commanders that look better and look cooler I'm all here for it and for those of you that love Ark of Osiris having a better looking arc map will also be massive but again hopefully it means no lag in Ark of Osiris anyway here we go on to see some new screenshots ladies and gentlemen let's go the game looks so good we have actual mountains man oh my god so here they say remake scenes take you into a more three-dimensional battlefield yes dude yes dude I'm so freaking excited that I just saw a spider on my wall that I'm gonna I'm gonna leave I'm, I'm gonna prioritize you guys first okay we'll leave we'll leave bro over there he's chilling anyway so remake scenes here look at this electric model that's that's that can't be right I have no idea it's probably because it's cut off by the tree that Google Translate doesn't know what that says but it looks like they're saying a, a new a new gameplay model or something I don't know a continent with more detailed mountains and rivers and boys 
the rivers i know this is a little bit blurry but like it's not going to be blurry in game i promise but the trees in right now in the game the trees are just a copy and pasted triangle basically okay let's be real so here we have actual trees actual flowers in the grass we've got even some some lily pads here in the freaking water dude we got some light reflecting off the water over here it looks amazing but also we've got some new farmland up here boys this is a uh this looks like i assume a farm like a farming node like a food node that you would go and gather from and then over here we've got what appears to be a wood node now i actually hate how this looks by the way this little wood node looks horrible it's just a stack of logs i think that's stupid it should be like a logging camp or something like that but maybe this is just a placeholder who knows anyway they're even redoing all the nodes in the map which means the barbarians are going to be redone which is huge this is very exciting news guys and here we see another screenshot uh of a more sort of a a sunset and they say remake light and shadow four seasons light shadow with stronger atmosphere day and night morning and dusk dude this looks good this looks so good we're i'm going to show you guys the video in just a second okay over on ihara's channel but this looks incredible again we have a variation in some of the trees right like these trees look a little this tree and this tree look a little different this tree and this tree look a little different i love to see it okay we've got a nice little pond here more lily pads some flowers in there and stuff this looks incredible we have that also another ugly looking log we have some logs over here this looks like a, a mountain range maybe that has a pass built in or something like that the passes are gonna look good i'm excited for that and then we have this it says technology engine upgrade greatly improved performance and lag optimization so they are doubling down on this they're saying we are improving performance and lag straight up they are claiming that and i hope that that is true i'm really excited to see that they show this uh screenshot or this video um and this is i mean it looks like this is the current style of army like the armies look identical to how they do in the game right now but this building does not look identical i don't actually know what this building is this could be based on the it looks like there's statues here that are holding the sword it could be the lost temple at the center of the map I'm really not sure but it looks like I don't know what this is either this might be I think this I think this has the graphical update but the armies aren't updated yet that's what it looks like to me I could be wrong this could be a, the original graphics with some building I've never seen before I have no idea maybe I'm stupid and it'll tell me in the comment section below but what they're showing off here is thousands of people sharing the same screen is the limit of the screen not the limit of rise of kingdom so what they're saying is you're gonna be able to play with thousands of people in a big murder ball and the only thing that's gonna limit your excitement is the the size of the display that you're using okay the fact that the your phone's this big that's what they're saying the limit's gonna be they're saying the servers are gonna be able to handle that which is a big claim guys that's a big claim and then finally long distance special script longbow and powerful crossbow i don't know what this translation means but mr siege if you're watching this is for you because it looks like they are doubling down on their plans for ranged content a powerful cross i mean this seems to me like they are going all in on ranged combat so i think and i said this a few months like maybe a month or two ago i said 2025 is probably going to be year of the ranged commander because this most recent release with gonzalo is obviously shaking things up a bit we even see some well players starting to use ranged as their seventh march i'm personally not sold yet even though of course there are some nice uh, battle reports coming out of range but i did say that if we saw more power creep for ranged commanders which you know we would probably see again in the beginning of 2025 then it would be year of the range commander and if they're doubling down on ranged combats for this update then that is more evidence that ranged commanders could be insane for the next release so start saving some of your materials if you are interested in crafting perhaps some ranged gear and of course recently in a face to face with the developers they did say that they are planning on releasing at least one if not two epic ranged commanders so i don't know i honestly i don't think it'll come with this current civilization it could uh but later down the line perhaps when we see this update we could be getting some epic range commanders and if that's the case it's the barrier to entry is going to be so much better and so much easier for a lot of players uh, so this is this is all this is all really big news guys now let's go ahead and take a look at ihara's video really quick now i'm not going to go over everything but this is one of the screenshots that they shared basically saying like hey a lot of people are complaining about lag they would rather have lag fixed than a graphical update or that they should do lag updates first 
and so that's kind of what they're addressing here okay let's take a look at this world map you could see they still have the freaking dude they still have the freaking oh get rid of those clouds man i couldn't think of the word cloud i've tried to make it seem like that was natural but it wasn't natural you knew that i forgot the word cloud didn't you anyway they still got clouds here i don't want to see the clouds but dude the game looks so freaking good dude it looks so good oh my god and this is again this is ihara filming a video of a video and i'm filming the video of the video so this is going to be like this is very compressed this is going to be way more crisp and clear when it's actually like something you're looking at on your phone here we see ihara go over the two different like nodes that we see on the map there so that's exciting stuff and then here we see the light cycle look at that the trees are blowing in the wind we see the the shadows elongating as we're going from daytime to sunset to nighttime it looks incredible guys i'm super excited about this and again they also said something about seasons so are we going to see a you know an autumn themed map are we going to see a you know a winter themed map personally i hate winter themed maps so if we can opt out of that one that would be great for me um, i just hate looking at snow i live in new york i hate seeing snow so i don't want to see it in my video games okay even when i played skyrim i had a freaking mods on there but here we see that uh that gameplay footage where they say that you know lag is going to be not so much of an issue and one thing ihara points out here is that we see gaja mata here which came out a few months ago which means that they probably have been working on the optimizations for the lag for a few months now which is promising that's exciting news now the other thing i want to point out here is the top of this building whatever this building is it looks like it has some autumn leaves on it which again goes back to the theory that if the map will dynamically change over time with the seasons then could we be seeing a sort of golden themed oh my god dude i just thought of the blood elf starting zone what is that called eversong woods dude if the game has like an eversong woods type of vibe during autumn i will lose my freaking mind it is so beautiful that zone to me is one of the most beautiful mmo zones of my life i have no idea it's something about the architecture the music oh it's so good anyway i'm going off on a on a tangent here but um anyway yeah this bat this this is showing off some smooth i guess frame rate and no lag i guess is what they're trying to go for here so overall guys that's pretty much everything if you want to watch ihara's full video like i said it'll be linked in the description below but i wanted to bring you guys this quick update letting you know that the graphics update is confirmed it's coming quote very soon i'm thinking hopefully by the end of this year maybe a little bit longer than that okay maybe who knows but if you guys have been waiting and wanting news for this then here you go the graphical update is coming soon and it's not just a graphical update it will be bringing less lag and more new events which is a big claim so i'm excited for it i'm here for it and if you guys are excited for this drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps up the channel a ton it'll help push this out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video with breaking news for the graphical update and comment down below your thoughts on this announcement are you excited for the graphical update do you think that they're going to be able to solve the lag issue are you excited for new events are you optimistic or not let me know in the comments section below guys with that being said thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.